Hi. I'm going to work on my project again. My project being this creation. Um, the skirt type of thing I was working on last time worked out okay. And I was actually planning to work on her legs to give her something like legs tonight, but I can't really figure out how I want to do that. So I've decided to see if I want to use the head I had in mind. And I've decided to do that. So I'm going to try to make her a neck today. <laughs> see, I've, I've this bead up here um, to make it still able to hopefully move back and forth. Um, but on the neck and between the neck and the head, I want to make uh, between the shoulders and the head, I want to make a neck. And I will do that with epoxy sculpt, which is a more firmer type of clay, which also hardens to a plastic like consistency, which is very hard and durable. So that's why I like to use it. Um, and I've been thinking about what to do for a couple of hours now, so I decided to get on with it, otherwise I'm not going to do anything at all, probably. Um, I've been fidgeting with uh, trying to make legs. I was thinking about just sculpting some legs, which I could maybe attach later, but I don't know how I would do that without breaking them. But I also don't want to make the legs while these wires are attached to the whole thing, because then I will be, it will be inconvenient as well. So I, and also I still don't know exactly what I want the legs to look like or how long I want them to be. Um, because I kind of have to keep in mind that this is, uh, these are our hips. And even though I can make the proportions somewhat strange, um, it looks like the knees are somewhere around here. I can make this a bit wider, of course, giving her, her knees on this side, but still the, the legs are not going to be very long. And I even got oh, this, which I cut in half some other time to maybe use, but I don't like the shape of the calves. The feet are nice, but the legs are just weird. So I thought if I make legs, I will make them myself. And I've also... I also have a couple of images in my head about not really giving her legs, but making her, well, giving her legs, but making her sort of some sort of flying thing with her feet, feet going back and then more skirts or something. I don't know yet. So because I'm really, really, really unsure so far about that, I decided to just go ahead and um, work on something else. The neck. I'm just gonna put my hair back and angle the camera a different way so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's gonna be funny because I am not quite sure what I will be doing either. This broke off from the neck earlier. That's okay. It's my I don't think I'll be needing these wires today. Mm. Okay. Ready? Let's start. Maybe I should. Yeah. Hold on. remember to keep my hands over there. <laughs> so as you can see this stuff is uh, not fluid at all. Um, what shall we use? 
to get it out. Or shall we use to get it out? Well, the other day I said I didn't have sticks here downstairs and I found these in my closet. So that was a lie and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Why is my head itchy? I think I should make a small amount to start with because if I'm really only going to make her a neck mm, then I won't need much see you should actually use the gloves for this as well but I but only if you're allergic to one of the components, really. So I don't, because it's uh, very uncomfortable working with gloves. I mean, with this stuff, if you just keep sticking to it. Okay, these balls are sort of the same size, so I'll go mix them. are so dry <laughs> it sticks to them really that's where the gloves might come in handy <laughs> but I'm stubborn you know okay I think that's mixed I don't want the neck to become very, very thick, but I do want it to stick to the wire. If I try to put everything around it at once, I might not be able to feel. She'll have a twisty neck. That's not what, <laughs> what I'm going for. I think. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Mm. I put a um, protective plastic thing around or under the head as well. I'm not quite sure yet if that was a great idea. Because it might just damage soft epoxy. We'll see. There. Okay. Um, I'm not quite 
not sure if I can put more over it without making it too thick. I don't know how, I think I should put some more around the top part. I'm not a very precise artist, <laughs> just some people are very precise and I really admire that, but I'm just not like that with most things. So. I mean, when it's good, it's good, right? I also got some um, brushes. smooth and surface with the brush so that you don't have to sand it afterwards. I don't know if this is the right moment to do that because oops <laughs> splattering it everywhere. That's also not what I meant to do. Careful now we want to eat at this table. because this stuff is so much thicker than the epoxy paste and it doesn't drip, it doesn't really level itself out. Oh, can you even see what I'm doing still? so you can leave fingerprints on it and everything. It's perfect for sculpting things with structure, but if you want it to be smooth, you'll have to sand it. And to minimize the sanding, you have to do, I hate sanding. I've seen someone explain that. There was another bit of, oh, it's, uh, I've seen someone give it a tip that you should, um, Smoothing it out with a brush. Now there's a little bit of fluff on there. I don't want you there. Get me wrong. All right. A neck in the making. It still looks a bit odd. What does the neck look like? I don't know if that made it better. <laughs> I mean, in the end, whatever it will end up looking like, that's what it will be. I also want to um, 
smoothing her head out. But I'm not sure if I want to do that with epoxy sculpt or with the epoxy paste. And I'm thinking epoxy paste. I kind of want to let it run over her head. Mm -hmm. That's a nice idea. But what am I going to do this tiny little bit of epoxy sculpt? I could just wrap it around something. Maybe I'll just I'll just put it on the head. And again, I hope this is a good idea because I'm not sure that it is. This is way more controllable than the uh, epoxy paste, that's for sure. Um, especially if you make it a bit wet, you can. Oh, <laughs> that was my hand, not the clay. I also used this, used this clay to make the head of my chameleon doll. Oh shit, see now I'm breaking the neck. Oh no, I knew this was a bad idea. I'm pushing down on the head. <laughs> Good that I notice it now instead of just continuing to break it. It and I will fix the neck when I'm done with this. I'm rubbing on. So, well, at least part of her head will now be covered, 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 covered. I think that'll do for now. Okay. Sorry about your neck, miss. Didn't mean to ruin you. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Maybe I should put the head up a bit. Yeah. Seems like a plan. So that the neck can um, set without the head being glued to it. Why am I doing this with a rounded thing? Maybe oh, I can use this stick. And then I have to be really careful that I don't pop the head back down again onto the neck, ruining everything I just did. Obviously, do I need it to be symmetrical or not? No, not necessarily. 
This is the front of the neck, isn't it? Should have a little dip in there. I want it to look like me, it should make a lump on the back of the <laughs> neck, but I won't. Look out for the neck, please. Don't get impulsive now. <laughs> okay, well, I should probably... I'm gonna wash the, the brush and then see if I want to do anything else. some olive oil on my hands so if I want to continue sculpting maybe the clay won't stick to it as easily to my hands that is I'm contemplating whether I will sculpt some legs now or I will call it a day I kind of want to try make a leg somehow just don't know how to go about it. Because there's these wires sticking out from under here. You can't see that because I put it in here. But there's two short leg like thingies, which are only this long. And one of them has a loop and the other one doesn't. So I at first I thought, oh, I can just put a leg through a loop and connect it then. Because um, I don't really want to do that with hot glue because that might melt again if it heats up ever. Uh, and I want it, this to be a sturdy thing that doesn't lose its legs if it's in the sun. So um, then I thought maybe I can use only one wire and bend it in half to make two legs, but that would make it way more difficult to position the legs afterwards. So I'm actually pretty much clueless about how to go about this. Um, but what I did think is that I can make two legs and I, it would be best if I just make them when they're not connected to the body and then I can use the one loop that I have to put them through and then bend the wire of the leg around and then fill it up with more clay if I need to. That way when I've made the legs I can still position them afterwards which, which would be good, which would be good. So I'm thinking, should I start on a leg or two or not? And I only made one of these wire leg thingies and now there's oil on my hands. <laughs> but I think it would be wise to make both legs at the same time because otherwise I will have to try and uh, recreate the one I made, and that's already difficult. So how do I do this? How do I do this? I just don't know. 
Oh yeah, just like that, okay. So, bend these in half. Just like that. And then you just take this hook. And then... I think I used... sure if I used them, but I will right now. Ouch. And as I said in the previous video, I had made some leg kind of structure, but look at it, it's way too chunky. Um, so this is gardening wire or that they use for plants or something, I don't know. I bought it at a um, flower shop. Um, and it's super thin and pliable, but still strong. So if I twist this together, it will be four strands of wire, which should make a strong base, but it's nice and thin compared to this chunky thing that I made. That's what I used for the skeleton, the rest of the armature, but I think this will be better suitable for these frilly legs that I want to make. I want to make some nice and shapely legs as well, so I don't want to have to cover up all the strange bumps in the... In the Bird's foot. I don't want to have to, to cover all the bumps in the wire with clay. And I thought about using um, aluminum foil again, but I thought that would also probably make it more lumpy. And then I would have to cover that with clay, and that would make the legs bigger again so hopefully this will be enough there and we have two and then i squeezed this together oops that was quite difficult i don't remember how many my it was and then voila one leg two leg three leg well, one she has one big foot and one small foot that's fine. I know it's not fine. Hold on. Hold on. I'm really need this. Oh, I need another. Oh, I'm twisting the wrong direction, probably. Yeah. Well, this will have to do. This one is a bit smaller of a start, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Okay, I think the legs should go up to here max, but let's put a tape around it so I don't forget. Mm. I think this is already too far up, but just stay under there. Um, right now, how can I show this? This is probably the best way. Like the 
control out of the way. To reduce the noise. Okay. I will need a bit more this time. But still, I think I will start with um, a base layer and then not a base player but a base layer and then afterwards I can go over it again to add more shape hopefully getting under my nails probably shouldn't have taken it out with my hands then she said and then immediately doing that again Did I mention I'm a bit stubborn? I like the Dutch word for stubborn. It's um, eigenwijs. And wijs means wise. And eigen means your own. So it's sort of... And wijs or wijze is also a way of doing things. So it's basically saying that you have your own way of doing things. If you're a bit um, decide to do it your way and I kind of like that that sounds um, better than stubborn but we also have stubborn that's koppig that's headstrong so yeah lekker eigenwijs nice and and well I don't know if there's a good word for that in English. This stuff is hard to me, so... And it's also hard to see if I have the same amount. What do you think? There's no one else here to give me an answer, so I have to guesstimate. That'll do. Do, do, do. That'll do. This stuff is so cool. So different from um, clay actual clay because it hardens in a very different way it's more like a sort of resin like epoxy resin it is epoxy but it's epoxy clay which means that if you you mean if you drop it if it's a solid it won't just break like that it's more like resin it hardens it really cures and that's why you have these two components as well when you mix them they start to react with each other and you have a certain working time before it starts to cure um, and then when it's done it will be quite heavy and also very strong and the epoxy paste that i used for the body of the this thing is um also often used as very strong glue and I can imagine why because it's really it dried up really really hard uh, oh, even though I only put a small layer over these arms they're tough and even the skirt thing that I thought I would still be pliable after I had um, after it had cured because it it's only on the top side of the thing it's harder than I thought it would be <laughs> well that's kind of funny actually Let's see, do we still have two colors in here? Nope, it looks pretty well mixed. This is a good exercise for the muscles in your hand. Okay, that's for one leg. The other, oh, I have two ball balls again. Now they're both the same color. Mm -hmm. 
and it does smell the same as the um, epoxy paste but it's not nearly as gross smelling it's probably because it's fluid i don't know okay well should i i don't know which is shape that's difficult this is a bit so how do i want the feet to be positioned probably a bit like that uh, This will stick to this wire. Uh, it probably will, but um, how it will look in the end. But that's why I'm doing this first layer first, and then when it's dried, I can go over it again. And then the epoxy sculpt will adhere to the epoxy sculpt layer very easily. And that should be perfect because this is really just hard working around a wire. Maybe I should have put some foil around it first, but it's too late now. Oh, you can't see a thing. Hold on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I made way too much. Actually, oh, I already have I made too much. Do a first pass. Maybe I will do a first pass and then directly continue. See, it's gonna twist around on the wire. No. Oh no. That won't work. Oh, I don't want it to get huge feet as well. This is difficult, man. This is not easy. Nobody said it was easy. Okay, I'm just gonna make it stick to this and then I can go back to make her calves. Oh no. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm learning a lot. Oh, I am. Yes, I am. I don't know why I thought I would just do this and it would be easy. It's not the same as drawing feet. Hey, look, this looks a bit like a leg, doesn't it? It does. It's quite like a leg. I approve of this leg shaped thing. It is not bad at all. An ankle, we have an ankle, maybe this would just be the legs. The leg. These would just be the legs. Maybe. Depending on what I do. And I do think I will have to sand them probably. Although I might decide not to. I'm lazy. always I take more time to hang my clothes so that I don't have to iron them because I hate ironing my clothes I also don't have a lot of 
clothes that need to be ironed. Although some people iron just about everything, which is fine. They should do that if you want, but it's not for me. Oh, wow. I'm making a foot. Footsie. Looks great from the side. Don't want to look at the front yet. Turning into a very long foot here. Hmm. Oh, this side is a bit lumpy. But this side is this side looks great. There, I'm making legs. Oh wow! I don't know about the next leg yet, but and how I'm gonna even out these sides without squashing them. Oh no. See, this is what I was afraid of. Now the foot is ruined again on that side. Which side did I have just now? I don't even remember. Oh, this side, probably. <laughs> this one is very lumpy. Can I? Do I? Hmm. I don't really have a clay knife available at my table at the moment. I don't really have ma and many, but probably would find more in my daughter's Play-Doh crate collection tools. I have used them before for, for sculpting with this stuff. Why not? Okay, well, I am going to put this foot out of the way because it looks pretty good. And I don't want to ruin it anymore. Up here. Why are you there? It's so lumpy. Okay, I'm not gonna try to fix this now because that won't work. Um, where am I gonna leave this foot leg? In here, in my cup of sticks. Okay, I definitely made way too much of this stuff. That's all right. I will just um, continue working on the other one. Okay, so we have one foot that goes like that. Do we want the other foot to go like that as well? I think so. Run it straight. There we go. Okay. funny I never use the same approach twice usually which always well maybe not never but often then I have done something and it turned out great and then for the next thing if I have to do it again I will do something completely different which I don't really understand because you should just but it's probably because I don't really remember what I did because I just go and do it and then I don't remember how I did it. Just go on in with the flow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, Louise. one around to have a look at what I did and how large I made it. Otherwise I'm... Well, you know, it could go horribly wrong. Why is this a bit... It's probably just because of the clay and not the wire. Player. 
this and sometimes you just get a bit lucky with the shape and then the second one you think how on earth am I gonna get there but I'm sure I will I will no I will just keep squeezing and just need to make a heel Odd proportions for the win. Try and just piece this on, create more calf. I'm from the Netherlands, ladies, you always have muscular calves because of all the cycling we do. It's really true. In other countries, mostly like France and Spain, all the ladies have these really slender legs, and Dutch women have way more muscular legs usually there's something to say for both looks I guess but I like having strong legs my legs are really strong much stronger than my arms and that's probably because that they've been trained from an early age why is this foot not working out as easy like the other one. Remember, you didn't find that one easy either. It just turned out okay in the end. Oh, yeah. The hardest thing about this is holding this wire the whole time with my hand because it's cramping up a little bit. This is not quite right yet, but that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect yet. If I can, yes I can, work on this again after it's dried and it's really hard to get it to stay in shape while it's still soft. Just the most important thing is that they're sort of alike and I maybe you have to decide which one is which. Oh look, they're very different. This one is thicker. The leg is a bit thicker, not the calf, but... Hmm, and the foot is a bit flatter, more like my own flat foot. Long toes, flat feet. I like my feet, by the way, don't you worry, they're nice. Just have really long toes. Probably why other people step on them so easily. <laughs> That's what they say when you fall for a joke or or feel offended. Sometimes that you have long toes. So if someone stepped, someone stood on your toes, which hurts. 
Okay, well, hmm. Okay, so let's try to make an ankle. I kind of like this. It is pretty good. For the first time sculpting feet, I'm not disappointed. I think this is the first time I'm sculpting, 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 sculpting log. I'm not disappointed at all. Um, it's a bit. I'm sure there's great, oops, great ways to do this. I did take off some of the clay of the other one. Uh, but I think this is okay. But then this will have to be, now I made two left legs it looks like. So I have to adjust this one a little bit, if I can. Stay. And that just means that I will have to adjust the clay to the calf to go to that side. This doesn't have... I think there's a wire here probably. This clay doesn't have a working time as long as uh, the epoxy paste. Wow, well, I am certainly not disappointed with these legs. Not at all. Pretty good. The feet are not, not the same, but that's also fine. This is starting to harden yet, not really. What am I going to do with this complete big lump of clay now, then? That's a bit difficult. Um, no, this is not. Oh, I know. <laughs> I always say things that might come in handy. lady what can I do for you with this stuff that I still have left well yes <laughs> maybe I could put it on the arms or no I will know I will sculpt her a butt but but oh must be careful not to ruin the neck again <laughs> but 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 yes exactly a butt or at least the backside if I can make this nice, should be able to put this on here. Should just stick to it. And the reason I wanted to give her a bit of a butt is because she's so she was so. Shapeless. Well, she is not shapeless, but it was just very thin and not very interesting. Yes. Well, it was interesting, but it wasn't what I wanted. So, I think this is just the right amount of clay to uh, change that a bit. But change that about about her. Put your arms up in the air. And, uh, night, my darling. It's so amazing, the butt is round. It doesn't really have to be a butt, just some more shape. I'm not gonna create butt cheeks, I think. <laughs> but, 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 no. I wasn't going for a fully detailed thing. I could also give her a little bit of a chest, but that's just a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be much, but there's tape covering that now as well, so that's a proper, proper thing. I think. Yeah. Save that for later. I even want to do it. <sighs> it's 
hard work, man. No, it's fun. putting water on myself instead of on the thing. Because I'm not paying attention to where I'm aiming. Oh, that might be, that might be why. Sounds like a valid reason why is this table so low or this chair so high? This kind of thing, I should be sitting on a lower thing. I think that'll do. Um, okay, now I still have this little bit of clay left again. Should I put it on the head? Should I put it on the head? Should I put it on the head? Just might. Then I have to be very, 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 very careful not to push the head down. So I damage the neck. I also have to be careful not to damage the butt. It's very important. Here you go. Well, but, 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 but. Yes, exactly. No. <laughs> it is possible that this will make this head very inflexible, so it will make it hard for me to uh, um, either fill it with glue or something or paste it back together but I will figure it out I will oh of course I left my brush at the, in the kitchen behind me So when this is covered, I can either um, make her a wig, which I could have done either way. Uh, even if I haven't covered this, or I can um, just paste more, make make clay, clay hair, which I would really like to try. You can with this, you can also make these small thin spaghetti <laughs> spaghettis, and um, make hair with that, which I think would be cool. I think it would be good to have a smooth surface. And anyway, I have. I had some of this stuff left over, so I have to do something with it. Don't want to 
just leave it to dry out. people in the world are so good at being precise. I think I mentioned that I'm not one of those people. It's okay. Just do it my way. I did it my way. So, I gave her a neck and I gave her a bit of bit extra butt and I gave her a, a, a scalp. No, don't squeeze the butt. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze. I touched the butt. I touched the butt. It's finding Nemo reference. Nothing strange. And I think that I'm not done with the body anyhow, so it's fine if it's not completely smooth yet. It's interesting. Um, <laughs> I think these will be wings of some kind, sort of, or they will have. Her arms will be like that, and she will be. Her head will be tilted back a bit lower, but can't really show that right now. So, ha! Huh. And of course, she doesn't have a double chin. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, then the leg situation. I made legs. I made legs. Oh, I'm so proud of my legs. That I of the legs that I made. I mean, they are not bad at all. They look sort of like legs. Which one was which now? Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should label them. I'm gonna label them, otherwise I'll have the same thing again in the morning. Was this the right one or the left one? Hmm. No, that's not right. Okay then, um, I'm going to end this video because it's quite long already. Um, thank you for watching and good night and good day. And see you next time. She said, leg in hand. Bye.